Hello then, welcome back to another episode of, I guess, building the railway station for my inheritance challenge family who have done the inheritance thing and now are doing it all again, apparently. Um, the plan was to have a nice, fresh new build and then I remembered I had this build and so I'm doing this. It's supposed to be an old railway station that has been built on over time and we are renovating it. So they're doing this again. And by them, I mean me. I'm doing this again. So just to recap, we have a room up here, which I think we're going to use for like the kids can just have their own separate area up here. And then down here, we've got uh, Jesse's sons. We're going to have Zach in here because he's a teenager and these two for the twins. I have realized there's no bathroom. So I think I'll put a bathroom here and another bathroom here in here so he gets a, an ensuite got this weird windowed wall which i kind of like um down here we have um just had a thought actually oh i've just had a thought i've just thought something it came from my head and i went oh if i swap this lot around because i was worried about this being sort of an area like a separate sitting area for these two if i swap these over put the staircases here that can happen oh look arc at me um so yeah this is for hannah and joel and this is for their baby when we get them and yes more more bathrooms needed down here we have basically two offices i'm thinking nice open area there this can be uh for jesse jesse's uh, bedroom this is like it's it's open to the elements so conservatory-esque type area i think i need to darken those doors down if i can do we have any any darker wood huh um that's a shame that's as dark as it gets huh uh, that'll have to do. Ah, uh, this is going to be living area, kitchen, dining room, lounge and entrance. So that's what we are going to be doing. <clears throat> so first off, Let's get rid of these stairs then. <laughs> uh, goodbye stairs. Goodbye. Just remember that I did that. Must remember that. There. Um, and then we can cordon off the stairs and they can have an area here. I think that would be nice because that wasn't not exactly worrying me or anything, but I wanted them to have a separate area. So, stairs here. Um, I guess, oops, dropped my mouse. We pick our stairs. Maybe these ones, actually. Um, how did they go? Oh, gold. Let's put one back, just so I try and remember. How did it go? Oh, we could have a basement. Seriously, how did it go? Right, okay, so that way. Right, okay. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so we actually want it to go up here like that. Oh, will it, will it work? That doesn't work. What am I doing wrong? Like that. Ah, oh, put the stairs outside, much easier. I cannot figure out what I did. Oh, like that. Okay, right. 
this has to move which is annoying because then it's not in line and uh, um you could move these these back they're only going to be officey type things but then that won't work because of that lot i don't want to make them smaller no we won't do that We'll, we'll change this. We'll change this to something else. That's a shame because I liked I liked it going all the way through, but I prefer this idea better. I think. We'll find out in a minute. Um, all right, copy that. Stick it. Come on, mouse. Do do what I want you to do, mouse. Why? My question is why. Why? Why won't you go there? Alright, let me let me sort this out. Okay, slightly different. I've actually decided to put a ladder here because I forgot we have ladders and I'm damn well using it. So, ladder here. We will have to put these the same size. I think it came around there before. Hmm. Oh, hello. Yeah, okay, but I put the windows back just because I like it. And we've got a, a ladder there now, so that's happened. Let's put some, uh, this one, do I want this one? Oh, blimey, that's really big. Okay. Um, huh, can I put anything there? Let's get rid of that. Let's put normal, normal uh, wall there. That makes a bit more sense, I think. But we got no window which is annoying. Do we have something that will kind of match? Sort of in grey, maybe? It's not ideal, but it's there. It exists and that, that, will, that will do us. Anyway, let's go back down. Hello, right, okay, so basically I was recording and then someone started blasting music and so now I'm I'm speeding it up and talking over it because this took me ages. This took me absolutely ages. But it is done. It is finished and my game is utterly broken, which is great. But hopefully I'm starting a new game save and I'm starting a new Let's Play and it seems to be okay. So fingers crossed anyway kitchen shall we talk about them um i really i really like this house i really like the way it, it turned out it's it's weird it is weird I'm just moving all the windows up because they're a bit low but then when you move them up they're kind of in the way of the cornice but we'll ignore that just for now but yeah house is house is weird it's not what i meant to build i, I wasn't expecting this but I've built it, so there you go. I kind of, uh, I mess about with it a bit. I'm seeing what floors I want. I thought that would be like original flagstone from the original railway and they'd want to keep it. So we keep a little bit of it and put wood down uh, for the rest of the place. That that red accent, I do change that later. It just, it becomes too much. I just try and match red everywhere and I really like them, but not not quite right. I wanted something more calm. I wanted this to be a nice, calm, laid back house that you can just relax in because it's, it's essentially got two families in it now. I decided just there is a little separation there, but they've got, you know, a couple of lounges that they can they can sort of go off in and, and just be with their own families. But essentially, I thought well, it's, it's Hannah and Jesse, isn't it? And they're brother and sister and they went through this whole thing together and Jill seems really laid back and the kids all get on and we haven't had the baby yet. So I just figured, yeah, they can just, they can have this main area. And also the other thing I was thinking of is you, if you do two separate houses, 
and two separate kitchens and stuff they they just oh, it's hard work they go from one to the other and you never know, quite know where they are and no for gameplay purposes not that I'm, I'm playing this now but if i was um one kitchen is a heck of a lot easier so we went for that um yeah i've changed it to blue i just changed it to blue they're sort of blues and and a little bit of green a little bit of yellowy orange in here and just I like the way it turned out. Again, it's not the way I normally decorate things, but I like it. I may be changing. Um, yeah, the kitchen, tell me if I'm wrong, but there is no um, like upper cabinets that match these cabinets. I, I can't find them. So huh, I'll do something else later on after going through a load trying to find something that matches. Nothing does. Not even like the same creamy colour. You can't even get that. Can we have some more cabinets, please? <laughs> See, here we go. Here we go. See? See? Look. None of them. Nope. 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 None of them. Nope. Not working. They, I suppose they would have worked. They're not too bad. But I couldn't get the corner to fix, uh, fit, so I give up in the end and I put shelves everywhere. I like these um shelves across a window for like plants and stuff where you put glass vases and things like that on i've seen that in a few films anyway i don't know anyone who's actually got it but because if you open your window and it was really blowy then wouldn't everything sort of go all over the place there's an idea all these things i could not get these the right the right height and trying to put them on there and make them bigger and smaller and interesting but anyway um a lot of clutter or for the sims anyway there's a lot of clutter in this house because it's a busy household with two families in there uh soon to be four kids three adults they need a they need a dog don't they mm. but anyway so yeah clutter everywhere books here and there and things and just everything out and there's there's all the plants loads of plants by this window i thought it looked nice and oh i love those little cactus things they're like one of my favourite things in this whole thing. That and the the um, box of cereal down in the right hand corner. For some reason, I really like that little detail. I just think it's so cute. But anyway, um, yeah, faffing about with this for a little while longer. I, those are actually like cosmetics bottles I put up the top. But, I, you know, they're extra little bottles. They could be anything, really. And they've just been shoved up there when you've unpacked your, your shopping and just stuck it up there. Yeah, there you go. I thought they, they sort of, uh, the tiles there could look sort of, like they were more vintage as well, maybe part of it. So I, I like them. They are from the Silver Duradian pack. I can never remember the names of packs. But um, anyway, I go through every rug. I can never find a rug I like, ever. Never find a rug. So I put these down instead. Annoyingly, if you do that, because these chairs are closer to the kitchen, they'll use that way more than they'll ever use a dining room so I don't normally bother with bar stalls because it's really annoying but there you go um decorating everything I just stick everything I can find on every single wall here I do sort of a uh, all of these pictures so they're all the same size but different also almost all the same frames unfortunately there aren't that many of the same frame color but they're all the same kind of picture so I figured it would fit and some bookcases and stuff little tables things everywhere just trying to make it nice and cozy big tv a really sort of livable area some dried uh, i tried herbs i'm assuming they are uh for the magic pack yeah uh above the oven i don't know if that's the best way but it's happened uh here we have two identical rooms oh i, I remembered i had these hanging knitted things that they went mad for so trying to find somewhere to put all them but um yeah we have two identical size rooms both of them studies basically one sort of more modern and ultra pink for whatever reason i was in a pink mood and the other one more traditional just just because i guess jesse's got a bit older now and he you know he'd like his room and maybe Hannah wants a room to write in and yeah just going for it and I had never used that uh, fluorescent thing on the wall before and I think it only comes in pink which is why I ended up I think doing a load of pink because not much choice really when that thing's glaring at you 
but yeah I, th I think it's a nice cozy cozy but bright oh Yoda baby Yoda it's baby Yoda I don't care what anyone says the child in there a few pictures um, I remember to change the floor eventually and the walls go for pink what the hay and obviously a pink rug just to yeah, a bit more modern brighter area so there's there's more than one study space in the room I think there'd be a family that just worked together to make everything the way that they needed it to be and here I am on the more traditional it's kind of traditional I guess because of the dark wood but there's still some quite modern furniture really and that Salvadoradian desk that just looks like you you picked it up on your travels kind of thing um, I thought about the Murphy bed. Has any, does anybody use the Murphy bed? It's, I mean, when you put it down, you still need to leave space around it like you would a normal double bed. So what's the point? Whenever I've used it in gameplay, I don't bother, I don't put it up. I just, I just left it down. So it's like, why do we have this? I will admit, I, okay, just don't, don't come at me, but I really don't care if we have cars. I see no point in having cars in a Sims game that hasn't got an open world. What is the point? When it was the Sims, what was it, Sims 2? Sims 3. When you, you drove to the other lots and it was all open, it made sense then. But really in this, it's like bikes. Bikes were a novelty. But up until the new Eco Pack, again, can't remember the names, um, where the worlds are quite big and the bikes are useful because they do get you to the edge of the map quicker. Windenburg would be useful as well because some of the walks in Windenburg are really long. But other than that, the bikes are a great novelty and stuff. But then it was like, oh, for God's sake, we just get off the bike because they spent ages getting on the bike. I'm saving it. Ignore that. Um, they spent ages getting on the bike. And, and then they immediately have to get off the bike and then they stand there staring at the bike and you're like, oh, it would be that way in cars because what are they going to do? Get in a car and two seconds later they're off the edge of the map. What is the point? And I assume you could like tinker with them again and, and get your uh, handiness up, which should be cute, but uh, I don't know why everyone is so bothered about having cars. Um, yeah, that's, that's me. Uh, but opinions everyone's allowed them I do want bunk beds I, I admit I want bunk beds they would be awesome especially in like the eco thing or the the tiny living why on earth didn't we get bunk beds they better get us bunk beds there's a mod out there with a pretty a pretty good looking you know bunk bed and getting into bunk bed action of the sims so that does exist but I've, I've never apart from a mod that uh, you could sell your magic potions. I've, no, I've never downloaded a mod before. I've never downloaded CC before. I, I want to try it, but I'm just a bit worried, to be honest, about downloading the wrong thing. So I want it to be, like, official from The Sims. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm having a moan now. I am having a moan. So anyway, yes, not bothered about cars. Really want bunk beds. And I would like the game to work because... I don't know that this this game is such a shame. I was enjoying the family, but it just seems like they save. There's something wrong with it. It's just they're not doing what I tell them. Um, so I'm going to try another let's play with just one person and see how we go. But yeah, that's the thing. I, ever since it updated, I haven't bought the Star Wars game yet. Uh, I'm going to because sorry, I love Star Wars and I'm really excited about it. It's it it is the kind of thing you either like it or you don't. Um, but there you go, I think everyone's really mad because they wanted other things first, like bunk beds and just basic glitch fixes. Yeah, that would be nice, but that's what the money people wanted, and so that's what happened. Um, but I'm looking forward to Star Wars, and I'm hoping that my game will work now, hopefully. Anyway, on to, on to what is actually happening in front of me right now. How, how about that for an idea? Um, this is... This is like corridor, basically, corridor area. But uh, it also, it leads to Jessie's bedroom there in front of it. And to the left are the two offices I did. And then to the right, there's like um, 
as I said before, sort of a, the original part of the railway uh, building, railway station, where I guess you could get your tickets and stuff and it was open. So I kind of thought, oh, well, we'll leave that and it'll be like a little sunroom. It is open to the elements, so it's officially outside, but covered, so you could put some plants and stuff in there. I just thought it'd be nice sort of knitting room thing they're all so obsessed with a couple of rocking chairs and you sit there and you look out over there. There is water over there. It's not very nice water, but but there is there is a view. There is a view. So, yeah, I like that. Just a little knitting area and then you've got a little bit more knitting and I just thought I've not used much of the knitting stuff and I've paid for it, so I'm having it. So, a bit more knitting and of course the chessboard, which you just have to have the chess table, don't you? And the runner there, my favourite runner, which I just go mad with in this in this game. And just some sort of, I guess, the older looking photos. I was thinking that one, that one there about the chess table could be sort of looked like it was um. What what the train, what the railway station looked like, um, and this here. This little thing, I, you see it a bit later on when I go through the house, but that looked kind of like you could wheel it out from under the stairs. There's a couple of little knobby bits on it that could you you could you could pull it out and push it back in for storage. So I quite like that. Um, anyway, uh, that was me paying their bills, so we get the lights on, so I could see what I was doing. But we are upstairs now. I do a bit of faffing about because I forgot a bathroom. And then this wall, can you see that wall? I had to replace it. It was really high and it comes back later and it's po poking out the top of the next, uh, next floor up. I don't know what happened, but talk about my game being broken. That wall, so I have to put something above it so it didn't poke out. But the wall got really high, which is just weird. And I don't know why, but um, another another fun glitch that's happening with the game. <laughs> but anyway, this is one of the... I can't remember the twins' names. Isn't that awful? One of the twins' rooms. One of them is done, like, really creative, really musical. He's got his drawing table. He's got his violin. It's sort of a bit brighter and a bit messier. And the other one I do more eh, science-y, maybe. A bit more sensible, you know, that kind of thing. Maybe he'll go into doing robots and things. Another thing I've never done in The Sims. There are certain things that I just have never got round to doing. I haven't done much of the eco stuff, to be honest. I haven't um I haven't I haven't made a candle. Shock horror. I've hardly fabricated anything. Poor Jesse. I feel so bad actually. It's weird, isn't it? They're Sims, but you do end up feeling bad. Um his whole young adult an adult life was him in a job he did not want. He wanted to be a painter. Um, then he wanted to be a master knitter and now he wants to be a painter again. But he spent his whole blinking adulthood in that eco job um, trying to get that bluey thing, the fog thing. And did he get it? No, he did not. I did so many of those concepts. I don't know if there was something else I was supposed to do, but... I, I showed them to people and we updated them and we posted them and I think uh, hardly a thing. Must have done 20, 30 of the things and nothing. That was his whole literally young adult and adult life was spent in a job he did not want. But he's got his three boys. You never know, he, him and Penny now might uh, might get back together. That would be nice. And he's living so with his sister who he absolutely adores. We got Joel now, who seems a delight. So, you know, he can now settle into his retirement. He did the whole inheritance thing. He got, you know, they got a lot of money to, to do all this with. I ended up with, well, what, 180 odd thousand simoleons. So that is not bad. And he can he can settle into his uh, his artistic endeavours now and just enjoy his family. So... That's the thing, we spend our lives however we spend them, but in the end, the, the second that we're alive in, we have to make decisions and move forward, ultimately. But anyway, back to the build. This is the other boy's um, room. It's It's got a bit more Yoda in it. It's got a robot head in it. Um, those void critter 
things on the floor, which are huge, so you've got to size them down. But yeah, his is another little robot there. He's got a little sitting area, has all his friends around, tons of posters everywhere, some sailing ships, why not? But they're the boys, uh, the boys' bedrooms. Um, I really liked, I must admit, I blow my own trumpet, but I really like uh, by the stairs, those windows. And then quite know what to do with those windows. You can just see it there. Um, just the, the windows from uh, the university pack. And it just kind of um, go, goes up the whole stairway of just, just an ex extra little detail, I suppose, that huh, I was quite proud of myself for that bit. But um, anyway, this is the boys' bathroom. So it's all blue and it's cluttered and it's a bit of a mess. So that's all happening. Um, very blue. And oh, this, this um, shelf with the cactus, cacti, cacti on it. Love that. Uh, I kept trying to squeeze that big bath in, but it just wasn't having it. So, oh, and I changed that window. Changed the window to the same windows. It works okay. Now I've put that wall there. Um, I think I changed, what do I do? I changed the uh, positioning of the ladder at some point. Just to try and make, it a, bit, make a bit more sense, I guess. Uh, I think I'll do that a bit later. Hmm. But we are on to Zach's bedroom, the teenager. I tried to do sort of grown-up room, but he's still got some of his toys in. He's still got some of his other stuff. He's got a kid's uh, bookcase in here that's just in white. Like it's his old, old bookcase and, you know, he's just painted it white. And then he's got some more sophisticated grown-up. There you go. That's it. Um, some more grown-up bits here and there and a load of clutter because he's messy basically so that's what I'm doing here he's got his own desk of course his own computer he's got he's got a serious setup and a serious stereo there you go that that'll do you won't it that'll blast your head off and this I'm pretty sure that counts as a stereo too the machino uh, amp basically oh I should have put a guitar down why didn't I give him a guitar should have put guitar down. Oh, well, never mind. Next. Um, so, yeah, using the move object cheat, you could basically uh, put things on top of surfaces and then take them off and they'll be at the same height. Put them where you want them and then put the surfaces back. So that's a, that's a useful little cheat there because otherwise you've got two or three spaces on top of something to put things and that just doesn't look realistic. Of course, it's... You could put every, you know, fill up the whole space. So that's what I did there. I like the rug. I don't think I'd like the rug, but I do like the rug. It's interesting. Kind of 70s, isn't it? But um, yeah, anyway, lots of mess. He's got his panda there. He's got a, he's got a little toy sort of in the corner. And uh, a spaceship lamp. You've got to have your spaceship lamp. And a really expensive bed. He got the good bed, people. Absolutely, he did. So, oh, Zach's okay. Um, I didn't put any curtains up. I, I very rarely bother with curtains. I don't know why. I should put curtains up more. But, yeah, anyway, squeezing as many posters onto there as possible. And um, a few pictures of some, some fairies. So, there you go. Oh, this, uh, that table there, that's from the Eco Life pack. I've not come across that before and it's really pretty. Um, in the sort of what, corridor landing, just a few pictures and a, a, a vase and things, you know, as, as you do. Um, oh, there you go. I'd moved the ladder so you can see through the window all the way through. I think that made a bit more sense. And now we are upstairs in, I guess, like the kids' lounge. Just they can come up here and be out of the way and do what they want within reason. And, yeah, not bother their parents quite so much. So this is a mixture for, like, the teenager and for the younger kids. And there's a baby on the way as well. But I, I don't think the toddler, do you reckon? Oh, that was... Did you see that with the wall coming through? Rewind it. Have a look. The wall from downstairs to the bathroom was poking through. So I had to put this here, which is really weird. <sighs> but it, it worked. Just put another bathroom up here. So, you know, they have one. Made it a little bit smaller. The wall didn't come back through the floor. 
so I think it's fixed but that was weird it just turned into like the highest wall you can get as opposed to this which is what the lowest wall you can get so that was annoying but anyway um yeah so just again loads of clutter really messy putting everything out here loads of books why not loads of books I, I love those uh, book piles make me think of animal crossing um just put on top of each other and some magazines as well we changed the magazines a bit more and two oh yeah two computer consoles of course and just loads of pictures it's like you know jesse and hannah and joel try to decorate it nicely and then they come along and stick a load of stuff on the walls as it should be really um so we have a couple of desks as well i'm just sticking them in here now that like the kids desks but load more books um one side has got a computer and the other side is just like for them to do their homework just so they can it's it's actually worked out quite well to have the bathroom there because they're separated they're in the same room but they are separated and can get on with their work when they need to so yeah, there you go just placing these things around so they can hopefully sit there with their book because I don't think those things count as being on top of the desk now you've used use them you move object cheat um, so this is sort of the the younger kids corner I guess some toys just sticking all of them on there just all the toys use all the toys absolutely uh, and the other end I put one of the dolls houses oh and this little table I think I think the team can use that as well so they can play that llama game together hopefully and uh, putting oh, I tried the ball pit the ball pit wouldn't fit never mind I was tempted uh, yeah so doll's house down that end and some of these void critter sticker things and that's pretty much it sticking a load of stuff all over the walls and there you go our reno finally and there you go it's um it's weird looking i admit it's it's weird looking um it's not what i expected to build to be honest but it's it's what i've ended up with um hmm, interesting right so let's go well let's go into live mode let's let them go to the loo because look he's desperate bless him and let's let's have a wander around shall we a bit quicker than that a bit quicker than oh look Oh, bless him. Joel, you can go to the loo. It's fine. I assume you can go to the loo. I haven't actually tried it yet. Should I go back to main main view? It's probably easier um, than faffing about. So, entrance way. You've got somewhere to sit and take your shoes off if you wanted. You've got a nice little sitting area. Why? I don't know. But, you know, you know you're doing well if you've got areas in the house that you just put a chair in just to fill that space. But it's like... Who would ever sit there and why? Anyway, uh, into the living area. You've got the lounge area here and the dining area. Oh, look, he's, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you sitting down for? I don't know. You've got to make, make, um, make a lovely, oh, make a gourmet meal. Oh, okay. Um, he hasn't got very far with that, so let's not do that. What about a grand meal? That's, I think, what I meant. Grand meal. Let's have a tofurkey dinner. Go for it. Anyway, here's the kitchen. I like the, you know, keeping like the original flooring and that kind of thing. I didn't want to hold myself to, you know, a renovation type thing. Oh, she's just become good friends with Joel. Love you married him. I should hope so. Um, bit cluttered. I like that look. I couldn't find. There's no cabinets that match this. It's so annoying. But there's that. And then there's no way through here. Where did that go? Where did the archway go? That's possibly why they can't get to the loo. Okay, that's weird. I swear I didn't get rid of that archway. Anyway, my game is utterly broken. If I if I did that, I'm probably going to see it and go, Sam, you're an idiot in the editing. But anyway, so I'd, I'd like the way this clips over. I'd rather it didn't, but it does, so it's going to. Um... Look how my windows disappeared. I, I swear I had pushed. And that's there. Okay, I did not do... And did you... That whoa, that weird thing that was happening with this wall. And I had to put this bathroom here to get rid of it. 
Okay, weird things are happening with my game. I swear I did not do that. Just things are disappearing. Okay. I will be ending this um, Let's Play and starting a new game save because it just seems to be broken, which is such a shame because I like this family, but it just seems a bit weird. But anyway, um, yeah, we've got the pull out or pretend pull out storage here that looks all nice. And then we've got two offices, very different. One sort of a, a younger, funkier look. That's what I was aiming for. And one, you know, a bit more traditional look. Very cluttered. I, I like the cluttered look. Little downstairs toilet there. And in here, this is, let's set this up uh, to be uh, Jesse's bed. There you go. So that's Jesse's bedroom. Ground floor now. He's an elder. He doesn't have to worry about stairs or anything. It's a bit of green, bit of blue. His own bathroom, of course. So that is the downstairs. Oh, and this, I like this little area. Sort of, again, keeping the original features of the building is the idea. So it is. it does count as outside. But, um, you know, you put your coat on, you sit here, you look out at the lovely view which I, I'm sure as they, they get on, it'll be even lovelier. And you can do all your, all your knitting because they are obsessed with knitting, like completely obsessed with knitting. Then upstairs you have kind of uh, Hannah and Joel's area. I've done this out just to be fun and bright. We don't know who we're having yet, but we're having someone. So this is the toddler's room. You've got to have the race car bed. I mean, just have the raised car bed. And then this one with the rather nice skylight there. And that's supposed to be this colour. Okay, things are going weird. Things are just going weird. What is that colour? That is so strange. Is it that colour? No, it is not that colour. Oh, it's, it's... What is it going to... Oh. I'm just confused just with life in general really you can't see it anyway because the lighting is different but oh I give up sims can you just fix yourself please but anyway here is their bedroom with the lovely skylight there <clears throat> so they've got this little extra you know there is a stairwell and you come in here it's like a landing but just just a little extra room for them because of the family that's got lots of different families within it you need different spaces you know you could watch a movie downstairs oh someone's being mischievous you could watch a movie downstairs and watch the telly up here and then there's another room upstairs right up the top just so everyone there's no arguing everyone just goes to their own little area and then they can come together as a family I just thought it'd be nice so here's the two bathrooms basic bathrooms so that is it. I like this little feature. Look, 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 the colour's gone. Look, look at it. Look at it. Why? Just why? Why, Sims, why? I swear I don't normally make these mistakes. Upstairs we have um, Jesse's son's rooms. This is Zach's room. His room is a, a bit bigger. Bless him, he's got a, an ensuite. Um, messy. I kind of wanted it to... Probably said this in the editing, but to be sort of a mixture. He's he's still got some of his childhood stuff here, but he's he's trying to grow up. Joel, why are you in here? This is not your room. I'll assign their rooms. This is like humongous, but and a bit of overkill, but still and and messy. Bless him. He still hasn't quite learned to tidy up after himself. Uh, landing just got a couple of pictures in there. There's the boys' bathroom. The twins, again messy and the two boys bedrooms one i've gone for the artistic look and one i've gone for more of a techno kind of or outdoorsy that kind of look so he could maybe get into programming or something and he could follow his dad and be a famous artiste so that's what i've gone for with those two and then finally upstairs is like the kids lounge playroom it's messy it's you know, it's like they've tried to put to, to decorate it and put some nice pictures up and they just stuck stuff on the walls. So we've got various toys. But I hope they can get here. I think they should be able to. Um, space for a computer and space to do your homework. Some toys just everywhere. 
this is all messy and a couple of consoles and then just sit there and play together so that is what i ended up doing what are you all going to do what are you all going you're all just going to stand around you're you're talking to holly alto fair enough you're mm, stay away from don lothario um is this the is this the welcome wagon can we invite everyone in i don't think we can but anyway that's that did you make see i told him didn't i to go and make something to eat is he doing it no he is not it just seems a bit broken that's all you're you're cooking now fair enough i mean that's it really i i yeah i for some reason this game seems to be broken so i'm going to be starting again but we shall end how we started with these two just the two of them blow horns go on enjoy yourselves but I'm going to end this here. I hope they have a lovely life and everything's great for them. But thank you very much for watching. Let's leave these sims to live out their lives and just enjoy themselves. And I'm going to start a new Let's Play. I want to try, try the Star Wars thing when I get around to buying it. But I want to try Rags of Riches and just go back to just basics and me just playing the game and just blinking while enjoying it. Ah, I've gone. I've gone already. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really would look like this be awesome. Oh, bye, bye, Jesse. Bye, Jesse. Where's Jesse's head? Bye. That was the inside of Jesse's head. But anyway, I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.